cool. Check, check. One, two, yeah. a songwriter from Auckland, New Zealand, and I make everything that you hear in this little room here. My genre, I would say, is alternative pop or indie rock, and I think at the moment, especially in Auckland, New Zealand, we're seeing kind of like a really special time for this kind of genre. I distinctively remember a turning point in my musical kind of foundations being the first time I heard the Beatles and I kind of realised for the first time that music was kind of this vessel to carry emotion and send it out to people. Cool. Have a little <laughs> Planet Waves, Bob Dylan. This is Face Days record. I played for Face Days um, for a few years. Cut off your hands, another New Zealand indie pop band. I played other musical instruments previously but nothing quite clicked until I picked up a guitar and, and I haven't put it down ever since. I don't think there's been a day where I haven't played guitar since then. And then I picked up software and I, and I kind of now use a lot of that to make my music. Um, I would almost say that like the software is kind of my main musical instrument. I like I program all my drums and I do lots of kind of different forms of editing that um, sound like a band, but it's actually just me behind a computer. So this is playing. This is basically this thing is like a. Um, it's just like triggers different. You can just load in any sound that you want, really. Different little blitz and bobs, um, like this guy. High school I was playing in like a post-punk band and then just as I was leaving school one of my brother's friends an older guy asked me if I wanted to play in his band but he asked me to play keyboard which I'd never actually played or learned before and so I had two weeks before our first show to learn synthesizer and to learn all his songs on the keyboard we went to Australia a few times and, and we played in New York and LA different things, um, all of which when I was kind of 17, 18, so I was playing in venues and bars where I technically wasn't allowed to be in. I was lucky enough to get an internship job, unpaid, at um, a studio in the city called Roundhead Studios, which is owned by Neil Finn. Um, the job kind of involved a lot of toilet cleaning and kitchen cleaning and um, making of coffees and tea. So I worked there for about a year until it was kind of, I felt like I'd learned as much as I needed to learn in order to make my own music. While also kind of doing session musician stuff, so playing for other people's bands, um, I played for a few of my friends' bands and we did lots of touring through Europe and the UK and America and Australia and in between all of that recording my own music. Um, and once I had enough of my own music to kind of release as an album, then um, I started doing my own touring and we played a lot around Auckland and up and down the country supporting other bands.
so the next step for Merck is uh, I'm currently working on my second album, a new batch of songs, um, which I've just been recording in Copenhagen with a producer and friend. And, and, and hopefully that'll be released kind of, my guess is early 2019. Um, and when it, when it does get released, uh, we'll go on tour and we'll go play it and who knows where it will take us. I guess you never, the thing about it is you, you, can't, you, you never know where, where it's going to go. Is there an end goal? No, I think, I, I don't think so. I think, yeah, zooming out a whole lot and looking at the big picture, I guess um, to continue doing what I'm doing and also just to make music that people kind of enjoy and can live their life to is kind of what I'm thinking about a lot, you know, making music that's kind of generous and that it's um, not self-indulgent in any, any way. Music is by no means an easy job. People see kind of one side of it and they, they see you performing or you see you traveling, but um, I guess there's a lot of hard work and um, grueling stuff that goes on behind the scenes. Um, people don't see the kind of carrying of gear and loading out of a, a sticky, crummy, old, gross venue and the taxi driver's really annoyed at you because you have so much equipment um, and you, so nobody sees that sort of, sort of stuff but there's no doubt that um, music takes you to some pretty extraordinary places and you can meet some pretty extraordinary people yeah. Is there anything you can show us from the upcoming album? Yes there is actually. I was always the 